everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look into the exciting world of fine tuning with the Gemini API and Google AI Studio. Fine tuning allows you to customize powerful Gemini models for your specific needs, leading to better performance on tasks like text generation, classification, and summarization. We'll explore the basics of fine tuning, walk through a practical example in AI Studio, and discuss best practices for optimal results. Let's get started. Before we jump into the how-to, let's understand what fine tuning actually means. Think of a pre-trained Gemini model like a general purpose language expert. It's knowledgeable about a vast range of topics, but it might not excel in your specific domain. Fine tuning is like providing this expert with specialized training on your data set, allowing it to become a specialist in your area of interest. You provide the model with examples of inputs and desired outputs, and during fine tuning, the model adjusts its internal parameters to better understand the patterns and relationships in your data. This leads to a customized model that's more accurate and effective for your specific tasks. Now, let's see how we can actually fine tune a Gemini model using AI Studio. First, you'll need a data set of examples. The format is simple, input output pairs. For example, if you're fine tuning for text summarization, your input would be a long text and the output would be the corresponding summary. Once you have your data set ready, head over to AI Studio and create a new fine tuning job. You'll choose a base Gemini model to start with, specify your data set, and configure the training parameters like the number of epics and learning rate. AI Studio provides a user-friendly interface to guide you through the process. After you launch the job, AI Studio will take care of the training in the cloud. You can monitor the progress and see metrics like the loss curve, which indicates how well the model is learning. When the training's complete, you'll have your own fine-tuned Gemini model ready to use. To get the best results from fine-tuning, here are a few tips. Number one, data set quality. Ensure your data set is high quality, diverse, and representative of your real-world data. Number two, data size. Aim for a data set size between 100 and 500 examples for most tasks. More data generally leads to better model performance. And number three, hyperparameter tuning. Experiment with different values for epics, learning rate, and batch size to find the optimal settings for your data set. Number four, evaluation. Always evaluate your fine-tuned model on a separate test set to measure its performance and make sure it's generalizing well. And that's a wrap. We've covered the fundamentals of fine-tuning Gemini models with AI Studio. This powerful technique enables you to create customized models that excel at your specific applications. Remember to experiment, iterate, and follow the best practices we discussed to achieve optimal results. If you have any questions, or if you want to share your fine-tuning experiences, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more AI and machine learning content. And thanks for watching.